Hey, I was going to go just back again with another uh, finding the sequence of the end times. Uh, I'm going to do um, Amos 9, 8 to 15. But as a setup, I just want, because um, it's also an Amos, just a, like a mini lesson sort of before this um, sequence, is Amos 8, 4 to 6, again, describes the times that we live in now, just so we have more and more comfort that these days are upon us. Amos 8, 4 to 6, I'll read this in the New Living Translation just because it's easier to understand and uh, more clear, more explicit about what's going on. Now, um, verse 4, listen to this, you who rob the poor and trample down the needy. You can't wait for the Sabbath day to be over and the religious festivals to end so you can get back to cheating the helpless. You measure out grain with dishonest measures and cheat the buyer with dishonest scales. And so this is referring to also the money system um, and all that kind of stuff, all the manipulation going on, you know, in the markets. And let's see what it says here in verse 6. And you mix the grain you sell with shafts swept from the floor. And so this is all the like GMOs, all the uh, fillers that they put in food, you know, that are just, um, you know, just there to like add weight to things and are not, um, you know, healthy for anybody and that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, just know that. And so the Bible is prophesying that. Then you enslave poor people for one piece of silver or a pair of sandals. And so this is just to help us understand that, um, you know, this is the times that we live in now. And so this is the, this is the moment where God then um, is going to do what he says in Amos 9, 8 to 15. And so that's the precursor. And ho hopefully people know that that's going on now and has been going on for a long time. Amos 9, 8 to 15. Uh, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sin sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from the surface of the ground, except that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. And so this is in a twofold way, talking about America being destroyed. But then I'll not utterly destroy the house of Jacob is talking about salvation, them being taken out. Just like it says in Revelation 18, 4, come out of her, my people, don't be partakers of her sin. So you don't receive the plagues of, uh, of America, which is death, mourning, and famine. And so this Amos 9, 8 is, again, completely consistent with that. Verse 9, for behold, I will command and shake the house of Israel among all the nations as one shakes with a sieve. This is, again, a reference to the fact that um, God's people are in all nations, you know, across flat earth. But no pebble shall fall to the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword who say disaster shall not overtake or meet us. And so that's reminding us that Christ is poised to destroy everybody on his left hand side. And some of those people are going to be Israelites. And so and their body and soul are going to be destroyed uh, when Christ returns with his elect to destroy. And so uh, they're not like reborn or given a second chance or anything like that. They're just um, they're destroyed. You know, they're killed uh, by God himself. And so, you know, just know that. And so the Bible says not all Israel is of Israel. And so all these people that talk about, oh, Israel is going to be like brought back into the kingdom and all this back in their glory and all that kind of stuff are ridiculous. There's only a very, very small group of Israelites that God truly cares about, you know, and that's his elect. It's 144,000 men. That's a very small number of people. And, uh, you know, we hope to share in some of their promises, even if we're not of them. Um, so just there's a sequence, you know, and so that goes into um, America being salvation, America being destroyed. Um, and then the wrath of God, you know, literally killing everybody. And so, um, you know, just know that. And so the next thing is always um, the kingdom of heaven. And the title of this section is called the restoration of Israel. So it's right on cue. In that day, I'll raise up the booth of David and uh, that has fallen and repair its breaches and raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the nations who are called by my name, declares the Lord who does this. And so the mixed multitude that are described in the Bible, in the book of Revelation that go through, the great tribulation but refuse the mark of the beast they're from all peoples and all nations and so uh the bible says here that um you know uh that they the uh, the israel will possess them you know and then they will they will lead and then there will be a righteous rulership with christ at the head verse 13 behold the days are coming declares the lord when the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes him who sows the seed the mountain shall drip sweet wine and all the hills shall flow th flow with it. I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel, and they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine, and they shall make gardens and eat their fruit. I will plant them on their land, and they shall never again be uprooted out of the land that I have given them, says the Lord our God. And so God's not going to teach people war anymore, not bring any division, and um, God's people will be at peace. And so this is a reference to the kingdom of heaven. This clearly has not happened because it says... Um, you know, I will plant them on their land and they shall never again be uprooted. And so that has to be in the future because the Israelites have been uprooted. You know, and we see that the people in Israel right now are not the biblical Jews, you know, uh, many of them. And so this has to be in the future, you know, and uh, we hope in the near future um, because um, this is a time of peace, you know, with God dwelling with man. 
um, you know, and the elect being the government, you know, on earth. And so we look forward to that. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.